So I first have to ask, why do you love stealing art so much? You love stealing art. You're very good at it. <laughs> did I did that in the past? Already? With the oceans. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the egg. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Fabergé I guess egg. it's a much different art, I guess, I would suppose. Well, you know, but... somehow, you know, a gangster that steals art is like, is like, a, is like an upper scale kind of gangster. Yeah, don't you're you the think? poshest criminal on the block, yeah. I would say, probably. <laughs> exactly. Um, so this movie, your character really has um, quite an interesting sort of um, evolution, if you will. What was it like playing that within these trance states of mind, like, you know, slowly unpacking that? you know, your character's development. Well, it was, that's, that's exactly what attracted me from, uh, from the start, you know, the fact that we, we, uh, we are presented to the, with this guy, you know, that we think that is just a tough, you know, hard man that you're gonna aid through the whole movie, and then you realize that actually this guy has something else, and, and, um, and that he has the, the opportunity to show up with uh, like many different kinds of, of uh, feelings, you know, I mean, my definition of the, of, the, of the character is actually a gangster that falls in love. Yeah, I mean, um, your chemistry with Rosario Dawson in the movie is, is great. Working with her, her character to me was fascinating in this movie because she is a strong boss lady that's, you know, very exactly. subtly just like getting it done. What was it like working opposite such a strong and engaging female character? Well, I'm glad to see that, you know, I mean, as, as an audience, I'm, I'm, I, I, we need that more. And I know that it's really tough for actresses to find that kind of heart, you know. And especially, you know, when, when actresses are that good looking, you know, <laughs> they, uh, they have a tendency to be um, judged in a very, very strange way. You know, it looks like beautiful actresses cannot be smart or respected. They have to play ugly to, at a certain point, you know, uh, get a nomination or being respected as a as a good actress, so with that movie, you know, it's different. I mean, she can be um, as beautiful as she is, strong, daring, brave, you know, all these things. I think it's very refreshing to see that. Yeah, and her character um, is able to do this post-hypnotic suggestion, which is kind of terrifying, <laughs> if we're going to be frank. I can't even imagine um, having that happen. Would you ever, if you had the, you know, capability to give post-hypnotic suggestion? Is that something you'd ever consider doing? Well, if I, yeah, I mean, if I had the power to do this, I would, I would definitely do it. Yeah? Yeah. What course. would you do? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, 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 I hope I wouldn't do too many, uh, you know, I wouldn't abuse the situation too much, but uh, it's pretty, it would be a pretty cool power. I, I don't know. I mean, it didn't work on me. They've tried, you know, I've, I've, I really wanted to be hypnotized, but it just didn't work, you know. I'm just not part of the five percent of the population who's susceptible of being hypnotized. I think. Yeah. So you're not a the virtuoso, as they called it. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs>